<laughs> What's good? For all time. Always. Always. Homies, audience, subscribers, we promised you a special guest. And she is here. <laughs> the second time in Brohood Productions history. And the first time on YouTube, our sister. Hey. <laughs> We got we got one major important thing to review today. JP and I saw the Marvels. We saw it. We're gonna, we're gonna review that another time. Another time. We saw Avatar: The Last Airbender trailer. We, we all love it. We will talk about that. We will talk about that. But today we have promised you the end result: the Loki season two finale. Mm. So um, before we begin. We're going to play a little bit of Marvel trivia. What? <laughs> All righty. Who's ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Let's start off know. easy. No. Let's start off easy. What is the name of the current Captain America? Not the actor. His other alias. Um, oh, I think Falcon. <laughs> yes, the Falcon. But what's his name? This is so embarrassing. <laughs> uh, like, what's his know. name? I don't know. Sam Wilson. Oh, Sam Wilson. Oh, okay. I guess that was I, I, in my head. I was like Anthony Maggie. <laughs> tomato, tomato. All right, here's the other one. I'll make it even easier because I guess that one was hard. <laughs> what is the name of the most important character in the entire Guardians of the Galaxy team? Rocket. I What's... guess he's the most important character with a story. Like you're Rocket. saying, are you? You're not saying like most important. Like what in regards to who is this an opinion? If you were to sit down with the Guardians of the Galaxy and ask them who's the most important team member, why? I mean, like maybe they say Star Lord, but like everyone. I would say question. I think it's a trick question, but the answer is Groot. Okay. <laughs> Oh, remember in Guardians Volume Two, which I did enjoy. They're very protective of Groot. Everybody is, yeah, yeah. All right, I guess I'm just giving you hard questions. I'll do it even harder then. Hey, Groot. What is the name of this universe? There are two correct answers in the Earth six one six and Earth nine one nine 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 one nine 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 nine. Okay, Paul got me on it. You know that. You knew that, right? You you knew that. No, I don't think I don't think she did. <laughs> All right, now a personal Marvel Marvel trivia question. Let's see how how well we know JP. Who is okay. JP's favorite Spider Man actor? What's his name? Um... Toby McGuire. Toby McGuire. <laughs> well, that was our brief Marvel trivia. We'll work on better questions next time. Let's we get, get prepared. Reviewing season two, but specifically the finale of Loki. Now, this is uh 10 out of 10. Who JP gave it a 10 out of 10. The last episode or the whole season? The the season, I I think it's the best Marvel show. Good. Compared to WandaVision, compared to Miss Marvel, compared to uh Secret Invasion, compared to Moon Knight. Moon Knight compared to the Captain America, all of it Loki was the best well written, the best story. I think so. I but here's the thing. I really want to hear Brini's thoughts. Let's give her the floor. <laughs> She just um, she just finished it fifteen minutes ago. 
literally. Oh, so do I, uh, well, I guess. And she saw one and two at the same time. I guess. Yeah. The, I guess 10. But maybe, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe the last episode, 10. The entire thing, like eight or nine for me. Ooh. But as far as the good, best Marvel show, I feel like I can second that. Like the only other one I really liked was WandaVision. So, yeah, um, no, that was still a good one. It's crazy to me, like, all the symbolism and like the way they talked about time like even in the in the be in, in the beginning like yeah I think it was like just so much for me to handle the first time I tried to watch the first season I was like man I can't even do this right now <laughs> <laughs> but, so what did you like best and what did you like least from from all of it well what I like least was um uh, what's his name? Timely. Uh, it's a good timely. <laughs> you didn't I like him. I loved like like he was cool as a character. I just hate how they made um the the one who remains. I hate how they made him use that voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you didn't like when he made fun of him? Well, because when you made fun of him, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's a it's a prototype. Pro, uh, it, hot it was funny. <laughs> like it was funny, but I want Victor um, Tanley to make me hot chocolate though. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah. And that they made the hot chocolate look so good. <laughs> I love hot chocolate. Yeah, that made me want some with some like fresh French bread or some fresh, Ooh. I don't know bread we haven't we haven't asked you this before so did did your opinion about loki change because we we lived the infinity saga together we've basically lived the multiverse saga thus far apart so does your opinion of loki change how do you feel about loki <laughs> i feel like um from the beginning loki was just misunderstood and it's really interesting to see him come around and have like this purpose that he had to realize himself. So I don't know. It's been a ride for him. Like it's really been a ride. Like, he came from from a lot. I mean, they call him like the god of mischief or whatever. So I don't now know. Now he's the god of the multiverse. God he of stories. All together. So it, would you say that was that was the best thing for you that it, the or the best thing about the whole one in, season one and two is that he found his purpose? Is that what you? I think that's what I was understanding. Yeah, that they that's like I think like the main point of the whole show. I don't know, I don't know, but th that's like that's like a big deal and like um, I don't know they just put a lot of symbolism and like they had the tree and, and um Absolutely. they had um you know like people in their lives basically saying like i don't know they 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 were like after wait we can talk spoilers on this or like yes yes, yes. this is a spoiler. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um they had everyone like going like uh, Mobius was looking back at his like he went to go pop in finally and then he was like I'm gonna just let time pass and, and be here and it's just like um saying like this isn't even your life and um everyone had like I feel like a, a rise or fall who was who was there uh -huh. everyone did so it was it was interesting and Miss Minutes over there, she was getting jealous. Miss <laughs> Minutes. <laughs> that was really that. Was, I thought that was really weird. It was interesting. It was. It was like, uh, I love what uh Victor Timely says. He says the monster clock. Mm -hmm. She did go a little crazy. Yeah. yeah. 
Hey, you have a question for the, the nerd man over here, JP. And since Brittany has a fresh take, maybe she'll give us some understanding. But we don't know what Sylvie's going to do, but we, we at least saw her at the end. We saw Mobius. We saw what the TVA is doing. But what the heck happened to Victor Timely? Well, didn't they go back and show him just with the wind blowing and then it just shows that he never received? Well, yeah, they never... showed that, right? But he was... So maybe there. he will never remember what he did. But he was there when Loki goes across because everybody is there. He's probably still at TVA doing something. Maybe but he's, he's working more with Loki. He's seen maybe. too much. Mm. Well, remember... Uh, I don't think when he who remains talks about Victor Timely, it doesn't seem like Victor Timely becomes king. So I I don't think there's they're not gonna do anything about him. He became friends with OB, he became friends with Mobius, he became friends with Hunter B fifteen, he became friends with Sylvie. Sylvie and as you remember from, uh, I think it was the fifth episode. No, 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 it was the fourth, I think. Where he's like, I'm not the same man. And Sylvie showed mercy to him. So, I don't think there's nothing to worry about him. My opinion. Hmm. I don't think he's going to turn evil. Yeah. You don't think so? I, I have a feeling that the king that we saw from Quantumania will come back, though. I think all those kings that they showed, like those are the those are the the dangerous variants. What what about you, bro? I don't know. They I, after like studying it and supporting everything that both of you have said, because it's the best show, it's the best writing. I feel like even though we got all of that, season two still left a lot of things unanswered. If you're going to propaganda say all your questions will be answered, I have more questions. Yeah, so, that is true. Anma was uh, his satisfaction of questions being answered was very 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 dissatisfied uh we sure. spoke um let's think about he, it i know doesn't have a guide of what's going to happen next they have that's all these happening. things that they touched on the entire time but never talked about it and then loki spends centuries trying to fix one moment he spends centuries figuring out his new powers he sends centuries uh, finally becoming who he needs to become, which is the most epic part of that entire show. Uh, and the, the music, whoever composed the music did an amazing job. So now where he's watching over the entire multiverse. And so while there's, like Bruni said, a lot of meaning, a lot of symbolism, a lot of good stuff to think about, and it makes you cry, and it's awesome, and you're like, oh, okay. Um, there are still things throughout the entire season that were not answered here's a, here's they started right. off with Kang, right we were so excited for Kang, but then the focus became the loom and so i feel like the story shifted to something else here's the direction bro remember the conversation that he who remains in loki had loki said i'm gonna find a different way the he who remains king believes that every other option leads to a Multiverse. bad multiversal war and everybody dies. The TVA's job, supposedly those kings don't know that they exist, that they're out there hunting them. Loki allowed the multiverse to exist. There will be two more Avengers movies. King Dynasty and Secret Wars. King Dynasty, it will be the... I think it's it's going to be a long thing again. 
but the direction is still there's gonna every everybody's gonna be fighting a bunch of kings because I think I think they they find out that it's inevitable that all those kings are gonna fight. I think that's the that's the direction still. I don't think the focus was necessarily the temporal loom, but just everything was summed up in that last last episode that it's a fail safe. Like he who remains programmed it so it would delete everything except for the sacred timeline. We're we didn't know that after he who remains was killed that he knew all those things was gonna happen. But now we know that he paved that road. He knew that Loki was going to time slip. He was trying to influence him in a direction that you need to take over me. You need to let the sacred timeline just be the only thing. Because he's like, you know the end. It's death and destruction. Like you, You've seen the end of time before. So this is cool because Loki saw everything. Because Kang told him in that conversation, you know what happens. And Loki goes, yeah, I know what happens. So Loki's seen it, but he wants to change the game. Yeah. yeah Which is fine. Is. My vendetta was that not all of my questions about the show were answered. True. <laughs> because we have to now wait about nine months before we get to see Hugh Jackman in costume. Hmm. And the the, the starting of the defense of the multiverse and Benedict Cumberbatch and all this stuff. To me, it's just like it's hard to not see other important things, even though the most important thing is to focus on Loki. Like I think that's perfect, beautiful, and it's how it should be done instead of investing everything into the future in one movie. But we like we like a little taste. A little taste. Oh. We referenced Charles Xavier. That's not a taste. When? Well, here's the thing, bro. They can't. They're they're, they're teasing X Men. Okay, they're they're teasing that. That's yeah. That, that's my thing. Stop teasing us. Let us taste. Let us taste a little bit. That's my opinion. It's my opinion. My opinion. It doesn't have to be right. What do you think? What do you think? Tell us, a oh, wise one, Brini. Uh, when did they reference Charles Xavier? Uh, spoiler alert for a different project we recently watched. Do you do you are you okay for us telling you what happened at the end of the Marvels? Yeah. So without so spoiling a ton, because that's not this review. That's there true. There's a scene <laughs> where you go to a different X mansion and you see an X Men character, and the X Men character name drops Charles. And so for me, you're just teasing. I don't want to tease. I want to see Charles Xavier. That's my example. Well, we you saw him in in Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, but you you didn't like that version. You said it was like not good. So there's a, like, maybe... yeah, he seemed really weak. Yeah. I think I thought so because, like Scarlet Witch, just like was a freaky. Took him, <laughs> took him back to school. So how how do you feel uh, watching the first two seasons all the way through? How do you feel, Brittany, about the Loki departure? So like this is it, basically. Basically, it's kind of sad. Um, like I guess that's really it. That's really all we get. Like, do you do you think like we'll ever see Loki again? Do you think our version of Thor is ever going to meet this version of Loki? And they're 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 going to be able to say a proper goodbye. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to do that. Um. I can't predict anything, <laughs> but um, I hope it's not goodbye. But it feel it kind of it didn't like it. I don't know. It's never goodbye. They'd be like, 
Loki's not here. Like, it's never goodbye. It's Mm -hmm. just, um, I think, like you said, I didn't really realize it till you said it. Yeah, a lot of unanswered questions, but like most of it is pretty, pretty answered. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what happens next what where would you go where would you take the story are you saying a loki season three or just overall overall like what's the next chapter oh i don't know i i love x-men and stuff related to x-men and i'm I feel like we've all been waiting for something to really do some some justice to them, but that's good. I, I that, that's definitely my opinion because I feel like I we didn't get to see that part of the comics with like the um you know the X Men and their involvement with the Avengers and the true the true stuff about the Phoenix and all all that. That's my Marvel obsession, but <laughs> it's, it's a good obsession to have. Yeah. If you ever want to make her happy, just buy her X Men stuff. <laughs> yeah. Wolverine, no. <laughs> <laughs> a big poster. I'll buy her a huge poster of. Oh, the cut out ones. Out. Oh, cut no. out. <laughs> so we only get one Marvel project next year. And it's going to be in 2025 when we get more, but it looks like the 2025 ones may or may not have anything to do with the multiverse saga. So JP is a little bit unbiased when it comes to Marvel projects. So what are you expecting between now and at least Kang Dynasty? Well, I think uh, Kevin Feige and Marvel have learned that they can't just spit out a bunch of not well written stories so they're really gonna just take their time introducing fantastic four x-men building up the new team a, a multi, like a real multiversal team until i i think the way they just introduced kang the the best way they introduced kang was in loki everything else not really but I think that's they're just going to take their time on X-Men, Fantastic Four, all those other characters that they just bought back. Um, you know, like I, I think I mentioned in the last video that Earth Mightiest Heroes, they're not going to be, we're not going to see a lot of that anymore. True. My opinion. It's a good opinion. It's a good opinion. Characters we want to see uh, either just in general or like well thought out projects. I'll, I mean, I want to see Shang-Chi. I, we've only seen him once. We, there's been no other mention of him. We've only seen Moon Knight once. I need some more of Moon Knight. Of course, I want some more Spider-Man. I'm biased. Uh, where's the Hulk movie that we keep hearing about? So I'm going to be biased when it comes to that. Where's Doctor Strange? I'm very confused. Where's Doctor Strange? Where's Doctor Strange? <laughs> um, I would say I, I'll I'll leave it I'll leave it at that. Besides, of course, everybody knows how much how excited I am to see Wolverine. So, what about you, Brittany? Who you, who do you want to see? Who do you want to who do you want them to focus on? I don't know. They've just taken it so many different ways and ways that I haven't even like seen yet. So how do you how do you feel about Marvel handling Fantastic Four? You good? I'm okay with that. I think they'll do a good job. Okay. Okay. JP, what do you think? Uh what what do you mean the character characters you want to see because from now till king dynasty there's a lot oh. of uh i mean uh whenever king dynasty comes out awesome i mean i i'm most excited for deadpool 3 i want to see deadpool and wolverine you know yeah. I, in that movie too we're going to see a lot of x-men too and it's going to mix a lot with the tva too 
Well, maybe which yeah. which is the most unexpected X Men, Brini, that that will be taken back by? In that movie? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know uh, what's the guy's name with the spikes? Are you talking about Nightcrawler? No, no, the guy that has like things that come out of him. Oh, um. It's not coming to me. It's okay. I'm just curious what his name is. I feel like he'd be an ex- obscure character like in X-Men 3 when they're fighting all the different mutants with the guy that has like so many arms. Oh, you're talking about the one, the guy, oh. I don't know his name. It's all good. It's all yeah. good. Well, this has been exciting. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. the multiverse yeah. saga it becomes redeemed with Loki at the center watching over us all. Mm. Do you have a do you have a burdened with glorious purpose speech, bro? No speech from you? My, remember, my speech last time was bad, so I have to work on my speech. No speech. No speech. Breathless. Any any final words of wisdom, Bernie? I'm just ready to see some more. Some more what? I'm just I'm excited for for Devil and um this and King Dynasty. Like I don't know, they've just taken Marvel a a whole completely different way. So I'm trying to have an open mind. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> I was a bad Sandlot reference for you, but it's okay. I think Boyd kind of got it. I said, you said some more, and I said some more what? <laughs> you know, I just watched that the other night. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally. Uh-uh. Alrighty, people's Kang Dynasty, Secret Wars, Deadpool 3. You heard it here first. We got some more content coming for you guys. If we don't see you, Merry Christmas. I'm just kidding. We'll be here around Christmas. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, until next time. Till next time. Thank you. Bro, hood out.